Hi guys, welcome back to Rome Toes War Remastered, where we are continuing our Skippy Eye campaign. We are now on part eight, and I've just noticed we have Palmer not building. Um, oh, I, I know why, because the Spanish have landed some troops there, but we have two battles to start with straight away. First things first, though, we might as well recruit a auxiliar here. It's not going to save the day, but it will reduce their troops somewhat. Now, over here, it looks like they have a load of navies, so they will be able to move that um, that army there. Last episode was the first time we really actually faced a little bit of adversity, and we should have really seen that coming. If we can get Admiral Aulus there to retrain. We'll also start recruiting a few more boats here, just so that we can patrol these waters a little bit more effectively. Um, and soon, we should have a full army ready to go up here, Ready to smash these Spanish into oblivion for what they have done for betraying our trust as Romans. Um, now, I say we had two. We have the Battle of Petra. Where's the other one? Do we have another one? Uh, don't think so. Why do I think we had two? Oh well, and in Memphis soon we will have an army ready to go as well, which will be excellent. First things first, let's fight the Battle of Petra. Now it's going to have two units of catapults, I believe. Um, can't see what his general's bodyguard is just yet. Uh, oh well, but at least two chariots, Egyptian chariots as well, so they are decent, decent troops. We can get our javelins into them, though. We can do well. Uh, but, of course, they find it very hard to maneuver around the city. But they can still do some serious damage, especially morale damage against our troops. Very, very tough morale damage that they can do. Um, in Greece, we'll skip over to Kaidonia probably next turn. And see whether we can go and smash some of those people in Kaidonia. And slowly but surely, we will phase out the old troops. And replace them with new ones. Now, I do have a tendency when I'm playing to, you know, recruit full full stacks until we get a full stack and then start going. But I think we should just start moving troops really quickly, as quick as we can, really, um, rather than waiting too long. Uh, we don't need an, exactly a full stack. Other re uh, replacements can sort of catch up, so we don't need specifically full stacks. But it is a lot better, of course. All right, let's hear what he has to say. servants of Pharaoh. They think themselves our equals, but I think they are dead meat. And draw strength from this fact. The enemy are so low that no ally can be found to support them. They have been lulled into a false sense of security by a few feet of defensive wall, as if that will protect them. Why do they stand? They must have barely a fraction of our men. We should brush them aside easily and claim victory. I have never lost a battle against these people. Why should I start losing now with men such as you at my command? Another victory is at hand. They have brought many horsemen to this fight. We will have to be inventive in countering this threat as we lack spearmen. This morning, an eagle circled the camp three times, then flew towards the rising sun. Such a portent can only mean a good day for us today. And the first man to the enemy gets a jug of my finest wine. Way. First man gets some wine. Nice. Do we go with yeah, we'll go with uh, these guys. Don't need you guys. Make sure we're all on fire at will. See if we, if we can get the archers doing some damage, that would be excellent. You guys here, archers in between. You guys ready to go. You guys, as I say, we'll keep on merging these guys and eventually we'll have enough uh, to crush them. 
What are these guys? Skirmishers and now spearmen. Ideally... Oh, okay. It's just an Egyptian cavalry general again. So which generals do they have that have chariot? Do they have any chariot generals? I don't know. I, used to, I thought Egypt had chariot generals, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's just a faction leader and faction heir, but I must be wrong. Never really um, had a massive uh, love for Egypt. I, it's not one of my favourite factions. It's a good, it's a very decent faction. One of the best factions in the game. But yeah, it's not one of my favourites. I don't know why, I've just never really enjoyed playing them that well. So now that they only have one chariot, we should be good actually. You on guard mode. Can. Get you over here. Let's go, boys. Let's go. The enemy gate is down. Our battering okay. Ram has done its work. Oh, wait a second. I think it's going to be a cavalry thing again. The gods have yes, keep firing at them. That Nile Spearman is going to be surrounded. You guys, let's get in. Let's bring, say, four units of cavalry. That should be enough to kill them. Problem here is these guys might rout still. They are still trash with morale when it comes to cavalry, and they cannot counter cavalry. That is a big issue that they have. Right, you four. I don't want to get them in while they have pikemen around. Yes, yeah, so they should be shredding these now, spearmen. They aren't great. Look at them go. If you can get up there, that'd be great. Cavalry, not archers. Problem, we've got to we've got to worry slightly about their general here, because if he charges us here, we will probably be out. Yep, here he comes. I want you to ch fire your arrows, uh, fire your peeler into these boys. Oh, look at that cavalry go, pushing through. Yeah, they're wavering already. That's him dead. I think we just use our cavalry to kill these Egyptian chariots because there's not really any other way to do it effectively without our guys routing. So, and I don't mind taking a few losses with the cavalry. Problem is, they have these pikes here now, though. If you guys all get there, why you go that way? That's a stupid way to go. Problem is, Equites might rout as well. Uh, we could do with some fresh units in. So let's get these Princapes in, ready to go. While wow, their pikemen are there, that's the problem, because we will just lose a load of the load of our troops to the pikemen. Okay, they're coming. Which way they're going to go? Might as well charge them now then. Blob them, blob them to death, boys. Fire your peeler. No, wouldn't be surprised if our guys were just rout here. Yeah, those chariots are doing some. Di ah, nice. They did some serious damage, but then they routed. Yeah, the equity is not doing great, but fine. The Roman archers doing 36. Decent. Decent. Well done, guys. Petra is ours. Uh, where we go from Petra? Probably north. I don't want to have to go out into that desert to fight that. Fight the armies up there. I think we enslave you, Petra. Yeah, they've got this region as well, which... Is it called Demata or something? Nightmare of a region to get to. We have, we do have two generals in here. We've got Flavius Victor. We've also got Titus Memi Memius. And we have Herennius Scipio. Right, Herennius, what we're going to do then is we're going to send you forward. Get as many of these boys as possible. We're going to send you up to Demata. And we're going to get, we're going to pick up as many mercenaries as we can as we go along. We don't need to blockade 
that anymore. That's great. We are building... Ah, uh, no, let's not build that. Let's build a temple. Should also recruit a peasant here while we can. And... We want to go for law, of course. How is the corruption up here? 938. Half of our... Half of the region is being lost to corruption. Half of the money in the region. More than half. Oh my days. It's, it's crazy. Crazy amount of corruption. What we could do is potentially move our capital to Sparta or something. But I don't really want to do that. Right, you guys. I swear we had another battle. But I must be completely wrong. So we'll end the turn. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I don't know why I thought we had another battle. See, look at those Spanish armies. Faction leader died. Julianus. At least he passed. Yeah, Julianus was in Capua. So, we have you guys down here. Ready to go. Look at you, Lucius. You are an absolute beast of a man when it comes to influence and management. So, we'll get you across as soon as we can. We'll get the Corvus Quinquereum to bring you. So, Syracuse is a large city. So is Masana, which has more population. Right. We'll move uh, you across Lucius Nasica to govern uh, Syracuse. We'll bring you across to govern Capua because it's a decent money making settlement, and obviously there won't be any corruption here. It's 3,209, which is excellent. Death stalks the land. That's still that boat that's got plague, which is pretty annoying. Who's our faction heir then now? That would be interesting to find out. Carthage, right. It looks like we finished, uh, you know, our, uh, yeah, our uh, recruitment down here. Ah, we need a general though. It would be nice to get you, Nasika. But then we have a general in Tingi, but isn't he trash? Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, my days. He is awful. Oh my god. He's so bad. He should really just be sent into the desert to die, to be honest. Let's get across. I want to retrain you. Nice. And they still haven't attacked at Palma, so let's keep going with the auxilia. I don't know why. Very weird. Right, we have cavalry and archers here. We need them to get their armor upgrades, though. You two boys as well. And what do we have here? We have more archers here, so that's a bit of a shame. We kind of over-recruited archers. Um, yeah, we're getting legionary cohorts here. What can we... Oh, perfect. We can get legionary cavalry now as well, so start going with that. Four of those, please. Fantastic unit. Look at that. 10 morale, 8 melee. Melee attack, 22 defense. Fantastic cavalry unit. Can't really recruit anything here then that we want apart from Corvus Quinkereams. As I say, we're not doing brilliant on money, so that's one issue. Um, you're going across. Right then. Let's get all these boys moved out. One thing we will do is are we gonna, we'll uh, we'll merge them later. We don't need to merge them specifically now. Get you on there, peasants. Let's get you into Sparta, please. Get you on low tax rate. Excellent. Oh, okay. Ah, they've got a, that army there. That's so annoying. Uh, right, let's do the building quickly, Carolus course. Let's get a forum. Lily Byam. Yep, you got that so we can get the legionary cavalry now. Let's get paved roads so we can get some more money. Thapsus. Be nice to be able to get legionary cavalry up here as well, wouldn't it? So, let's go for that. Siwa. No. Alexandria. Hmm. Alexandria. What do we want? I, I said it'd be nice to get an academy up here somewhere. Anywhere, we'll go for Alexandria then. It kind of fits as well. Petra, let's go for that. So, uh, now we can recruit some decent units here as well. 
Let's go for legionary cohorts. Retrain these boys as well. We're out of money. That's crazy. Right. Does Memphis have uh, good armourers? Yes, it does. Better than ours. So, let's get you boys out. You boys in. We probably won't have enough money to actually retrain you as well. That's a one issue we have. Yeah, only a few. You guys come as well. You're going to take another turn anyway, so we'll have enough money next turn. Hopefully, anyway. You boys, let's go. You boys in. Yes. Still, and we don't have enough money to even build a watchtower. Let's go for Jerusalem. Nice. There we are. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Any more mercenaries? No, I think we've kind of, you know, stocked up on all our mercenaries. A lot of these places, let's uh, start disbanding disbanding the people we have that we don't need. It's going to be a bit boring, but let's do it. Thaps us like we don't need these Numidian uh, mercenaries, like they're trash. We need a, do, we do need a general to lead this army though, and I... Gnaeus Balbus is a great, great manager, but not a great commander. Um, so we're sending you across there. Could take Nasika out. That would probably be the next thing. Is that? Yeah, we're getting a ship next turn. So Nasika, let's get there. I'm still happy in Carthage, in, in there. Although Lucius Scipio. Yeah, Lucius Scipio. We'll, we'll use him. So Lucius, get ready to get on the boat. Masana, yep, fine. Yeah, we've got to keep those troops there. Tingi, like we don't need both of these guys. About Demidi, yeah, we don't need like half of these guys. It's just suddenly making our money go up a lot more. We'll keep the two because they look unhappy. These guys not making huge difference. I think we can afford to uh, take down one more. Anything goes wrong there, we just recruit a peasant. Alexandria is unhappy as usual. Oh well. Right, that looks about right then. You guys are moving there. You guys are moving forward to get that army together. We'll move towards Egypt again. And this army is going to go for Spain. And then we'll be all good. Can't believe Spain blooming. Oh, I can't believe it. Absolutely horrible the way they have treated us. We've been their friends for many years. And they've done something so disgusting. Let's go for iron. Does this merchant still make... He makes 1,107 a turn. That's actually crazy. We're the most advanced faction though, boys. <laughs> so um, all our issues don't matter. <laughs> yeah, getting a lot of troops. That's why... Masana. Right, we need to keep going for money here. Let's get the shipwright. All the shipwrights just make us so much more money. Um, do what? We could get an academy to try and make this guy good, but it's not going to make much difference. Demidi, we need something cheap. It's 2,400 for the forum, which is quite cheap. Uh, quite expensive. Themyscira. Themyscira's happy now. Which is kind of crazy. <laughs> It's just funny we have Themyscira, to be honest. Um, and up here, we'll go for the shipyard as well. And again, we have no money. <laughs> 200. We have 200 gold coins. 200 shekels, my friends. Right, let's get you going again. Now, I forgot about Bostra. Whoops. Oh, well. We'll try and take Bostra. You can move there. You boys all got your upgrades yet? No. Ah, it's going to take a few turns to get them all upgraded. And I think it's worth it, even if it's costing us a little bit. Is there anywhere where we built then that's... Yeah, we could get something cheaper here. Let's get the temple to Saturn. Retrain you. And let's get you boys. Oh, we don't need Prinkapes. Like, these guys... 
and they're starting that we actually don't need really. So if they uh, wrong people to move back in, wasn't it? You guys get in, see whether we can retrain all of you as well. Not quite all of them, but a lot of them. And that is a full stack army ready to go. We don't have any cavalry though, apart from Equite. So we need to start working on getting some good cavalry buildings up here. Right. Let us go and fight you. And this is going to be a big battle. They're going to be right on top of a hill as well. And they have Onagers. Ooh. Cheeky. Ah, look at these Egyptian chariots, which out in the open are so much better. What do you have? That's what I want to know. So this is their faction leader. So if he doesn't have chariots, then none of them do. I could sworn in the original they have chariot generals. They must have changed it. Or I'm just completely misremembering. Mandela moment, huh? Mandela effect. Did anyone else believe that they had chariot generals? Or am I just completely bonkers? Probably bonkers. 47, he won't have chariot generals. Let's listen. to rule the world I also believe that we have a destiny a destiny that starts afresh here there stands the army of the Egyptian Pharaoh worthy foes to a man they stand alone no friend has come to this place to die for them does this not say something about their honor they're standing among nations they have been led here by strutting fools and blustering morons. Now they will pay the price. We outnumber them by a large margin, but this may drive them to foolhardy defiance. Be careful. These people have yet to taste victory at my expense. Today will be no different, so lay into them with a will. Our foes are likely to skulk at the top of the steepest hill. As if that will save them from men of your quality. I have won many great victories for Rome. Be strong in that truth, and let this be one more. March on, and know that our victory is assured as long as we live and die like true Romans. Way, great speech. I've forgotten what your name is, Alherius Flaminius. So, they're going to probably camp up here, but I believe their other army will be coming from this way. So we can kind of... You know, back this ridge, I guess you would say. Let's get you guys to the front. Put you guys behind. I don't think they had anything of note in that first sort of uh, army. Get you off that. So, what we're going to do is cavalry spam them, as usual. Yeah, there they're coming there. So, this ridge is going to be our friend. Get you all on guard mode. I need two of you up this way. I need one of you here. In fact, they're shifting a little bit. It's going to be tough. They do have pikemen. Let's get up there, though. Including Perius. All we need to do is worry about those chariots. Once those chariots are dead, the rest of this army is pretty trash. Like Arab cavalry, Nubian cavalry, pretty trash units. Obviously, their cavalry general is very strong. Our equites might break. That's one issue we have. They're going to be fighting downhill, which is not good for us. Um, if we can sort of angle like that, maybe slightly better. You guys on the flanks. Get those onagers. We don't want to deal with those. Uh, we can kill those desert axemen pretty easily as well. These guys should be warmed up. They're not even tired yet. They've been charging uphill all the time. Yep, dead. Pharaoh's bowmen should fall pretty easily. We've just got to be wary of those. Uh, they See, when they charge, they all like kind of die. I don't get it. You're charging into... Is that something that's just on very hard? Here comes the cavalry. Oh my god, those Nubian cavalry got shredded. 
not bothered about this this uh, this uh, army so much. Killed the Desert Axemen. I thought they would probably break. See, those Equites are uh, fucking gone now. It's going to be a messy battle, I can tell. Very messy. Let's get up there, guys. Come on. Come on. We need to worry about these chariots. What are you? Eastern mercenaries. Right, you're going to have to get in. And you guys as well. Come on, guys. We need the cavalry support here. Look at that. See how strong they are. We need to go. We need to go. Yeah, it's just going to route. It's going to be a rolling route down the line unless we charge them. Come on, guys. They're wavering now. They are dead, basically. Right. Cavalry, out. Out, please. Out, cavalry, out. You guys come around this way if you can. Oh, cavalry is shredded. Where's that other chariot? Get into them. If we can destroy that other chariot, we're good, we're good. Our infantry should shred theirs, really. Just got to worry about their general. This is going to be messy, I can tell. Ugh, look at that. They're just routing our poor cavalry. Our poor infantry. Uh, we need to get you guys into the battle, really. Just get you through. Ah! Alright, General, let's go. You guys get in. This is this is it. This is this is the battle decider here. The rest of you guys you can hold out, can't you? Well done guys, you're doing well. You're doing well holding that line. Gotta kill that. Yes! All those Egyptian chariots are now routing. God, our equites are dead. Like dead, dead, dead. Oh, here comes their general. So it's gonna be tough. Because the mass routes are coming. Right, let's go, let's go. This is it. This is where we win or lose. Rally the troops, boy. And everyone to focus on their general. Any of you guys, we just need you to get back in. It's, oh, he's fighting to the death now, the general. That's us gone, I think. That's us gone. That's us gone, yeah. This is a loss. First loss. All because of cavalry. That's how strong cavalry is in this game. Yeah, that's that's has gone. Everyone, I would say, get out. God, our, our morale is just so poor. Right, let's go. Our morale is just so poor. Like, so poor. Who are you? Oh! We killed about the same. They just... Oh, the, the chariots, man. I think that's our first actual field battle defeat. Oh, looks like we do need some better troops. We need some post-Marium troops against these uh, these cavalry. And we need decent cavalry. Um, legionary cavalry will be the ones to worry about. Do we legionary cavalry take two turns to recruit, though? That's what I want to know. How are we doing? Syracuse, where are we... Yeah, they do, unfortunately. Get back to Syracuse. We shouldn't have a worry down here. Uh, oh yeah, this pl plague stopped with these guys now. That's good. Right, we should have a big enough army now. No, we just don't have enough infantry. Where were we recruiting infantry? Masana. Four of you boys. And Capua. So, we'll pick up... I'll pick up that that those four and those four, maybe five, and then we'll be ready to go. Uh, yep, you can fit, so let's get you in. Oh, well, that's annoying. First field battle loss. Really need to get this army moving as quick as we can. You guys as well. Herennius, Flaminius, Titus Memmius. No, thank you. I don't want him to be the uh, faction heir. Um... Uh, let's go here. Do you know what? All this was awful, but now he's decent. How do we move this? Okay. Publius the lewd. He's the worst. Lucius. Mm. 
Flavius Victor would be a good one. I think we go with Flavius Victor being made the uh, faction heir. There we are. Fantastic. Um, so Flavius Victor's here, isn't he? At least we have another... We have this guy as well. Titus Memmius to, to uh, train the next army with. What can we train in Petra? Probably not much. We can get Roman cavalry there, which is good because we need cavalry over here. Ah, those chariots. The thing is, if those chariots were in uh, a city, we would destroy them. Because we're on a field battle, we just got absolutely ruined. All right, you guys are trained. Let's go. How are you not sunk? Need to go after all these navies. Well, that's annoying. First stumbling block, really. Uh, I mean, we'll we'll play the battle just because the balance of power was actually not as much as you would think. They are uh, Cretan archers, but oh well. And we will do cavalry spam once again. Maybe we shouldn't have gone after those onagers at the start. Maybe we should have just waited. That was probably the big mistake. But you can see how much the morale damage makes a difference when you're on, you've are on. you got troops that have morale 6. And I believe the Equites only have morale 4, which is really trash. Um, what about the Roman Cavalry have? I think the Roman Cavalry is a decent unit because they are fast moving, unlike the Legionaries and stuff. Um, so it, it is worth recruiting those boys. So we might look at recruiting them. Let's listen to what he says. Men, we face adversity. A band of brothers dedicated to the warrior's code of strength and victory. But we will never know defeat while we stand together. This day we add another triumph to the history of our people. We will be honored as men. Do not fear these rebel slaves. They are only slaves and will die as easily as cattle. And draw strength from this fact. The enemy are so low that no ally can be found to support them. This is the end of the road. This is the last battle. The enemy have nowhere left to run. They must hold us here or like so many ghosts, vanish away utterly. So let us take up our arms one last time, sharpen the sword and make ready. This will be the day of their final, lasting defeat. They cower behind their walls and pray for help. The count of our warriors will show you who is truly favored by the gods. It is not our foes. We go now to our bloody business. Yes. Um. So they probably did. They have. I didn't look to see whether they had that other. Army coming in. Yeah, they do. It's probably down here, isn't it? The thing with rebels is you only need to beat them. They never retreat. They die completely once you've beaten them. Let's get in. Yes, nice. Should not be losing so many troops, but they seem to just die on the charge. See, if we just stand here... So that's their army coming. Will it take three minutes? Right, we'll get you guys here. Just to uh, stop them from getting to the town centre. If we... Yeah, let's bring uh, these guys through as well. What are those? Sicilian pirates, they're decent actually. If we can charge them, that'd be good. We've just got to worry about the militia hoplites. Because obviously charging pikes is never a good option. We need Ahastati to get in. Yeah, broke them straight away. What are you? They're steady, though. Just need to wait another minute. Even if that means charging into them at, at the uh, right moment. Why would you run for... Like, why would you run... Like, why are you doing that? That's so stupid. You guys get into them. Make sure they don't stop our timer. If 
if you would, please. <laughs> Don't run past like you idiots. There we are. I need 56 more seconds. Let's go. Get in there, boys. Probably route them straight away. Those militia hoplites have stopped, see? There we are, nice. Now the Hastati are in. We only got 10, 20 seconds more to go. God, it's a mess. <laughs> get in there, boys. Get in there. Just fire your uh, peeler. There we are. Nice. Fantastic. Caedonia is ours, and there's no rebels on it to disrupt us if they want to. So, on to roads, I believe. All roads lead to roads. Or roadies. We'll enslave as well. What do you have? I'm trying to Aphrodite. No, thank you. How have you not upgraded yet? That's what I want to know. We can't have enough money to do that either. So we will get that to start with. And then, of course, we will uh, upgrade it next turn. Actually, no. We don't want that. We want, we want walls just to make sure that no one can just sweep in and take this. Easy peasy. Right then, you're moving. You're, you guys are getting upgraded. Fantastic. You guys are going to be ready to go as soon as we get those from there and those from Masana. So let's go. Nice. Excellent. Could get an alliance with the Scythii. They're so far away from anyone. Ooh, Titus Memmius. He's in Thebes as well. So we've got another... We've got another guy. How old are you as well? 24, you're a superior commander. This guy's probably better as a manager. So we'll get Titus Memmius. And we'll get Gnaeus Lyca to uh, lead the second army. Oh, how have we got plague here? That's the worst thing that could have happened. We need to move these troops out. Problem is, as soon as I move them out as well, they're going to have plague. And Alexandria's ri rioting. Let's get you in there. You don't have plague. Why don't you have plague? What about these guys? Yeah, they've got plague. Right, well, we'll have to leave them. This is the worst turn of events we could have had. We'll get Gnaeus, or Gnaeus Lyca in there. Even they're still unhappy. That's very upsetting. Right, Serta, let's make sure we can build everywhere. Um, what do you want in Serta? Probably forums, probably the best thing here. Lepsis Magna, let's go for the market. Kyrene, it doesn't matter what we build there now. Themyscira, farming. Petra, farming. Kydonia, upgrade. And let's move these boys out. Still be happy, right? Yeah, 70%. That's, that's all okay. Ah, what, what navy? Oh, we've got a decent navy. We should beat them. Should have probably done that before we uh, got the troops on, but it didn't matter in the end. Ah, hello, Greece. Yeah, Greece has got a couple of units there. The AI seems to have a trouble taking Larissa at the minute. But oh well. Are we at war with Greece as well? No, we're neutral, but it's going to be ours soon. Look, Pontus. Pontus is all the way down in Halicarnassus. Well done, Pontus. You're doing well. Why? Why, oh why, does the plague come? That is so annoying. Um... Do we have anything we could do with... Uh, it's going to take two turns, but let's get the sewers in there because that's going to reduce the plague, hopefully. It's still annoying that you are rioting still. Let's get some more peasants then. What reason... Squalor, culture penalty, minus a half. So that's not a problem. Squalor, distance capital... Law's going up plus five at the end of this turn. So that's basically on the limit there. And with those peasants, it should take us over the limit. Oh, well. Oh, well. Right then. Let's get these boys. You're jumping in here. Let's get these boys into the boats. Hmm. Why won't you get on the boats? Let's 
weird. Ah, look at that rebel navy. You guys can get out and ready to go. We'll get you on the boats next turn and we'll take you across to Carthage. Then we'll send you to fight Spain. Probably to Palma first. And then Cordoba. These armies, do they have any bull warriors yet? Doesn't look like it. Oh, they've got two units of bull warriors. Bull warriors are very, very good. Look at that. But we will be fighting with post Marion troops. So ain't nothing going to be able to hold a candle up to us. Everywhere's got a bit angry this turn. I don't know why. Why have you gone down to 57%? You were fine last turn. Because everywhere's got a bit angry. I don't I don't get it. Yeah, very angry. So, yes. Plague Army, what do we do with you? I think leave you for the time being. Bring you across here. Get that e Egyptian army. We have some spies. Okay, yeah, you guys are there. You are there. I could do with another spy, so we might recruit a spy in Petra. We don't have enough money, do we? Um, no, we can't recruit a spy in Petra anyway, so let's end the turn. Fantastic. That should sink. Yep, sunk there at that navy. Um, let's go after this one then now. Hello, Julie. Oh, yeah, I forgot about you. I mean, we could build rams, but it's not. We don't have any infantry to do it, so we kind of banking on a. Uh, so if Egypt wants to come and attack us, nope, they don't. We'll just siege down Bostra then. Fine. <laughs> Let us now talk oh, you silly sausages! If you give me Cordoba back, I will accept that. Um, Cordoba. How about like all of these are minor cities now? All of them very demanding, but okay. Regretfully, we must decline. You can't dictate terms to me, bro. Ooh. No! No! They. Oh my god. Things cannot be getting much worse. Jesus. This is going horrendous. <laughs> god. Bring those legionary cavalry across as well. Right, we need some Queen Kareems, please. Oh, we've got, got you here, so you'll have to ferry the troops across. Oh, oh you. Oh, Jesus. Things cannot be going much worse, really. Get you in there with them. Uh, how we, Do we have enough infantry? Not really. That's the problem. Should still be recruiting infantry here as well, so let's go legionary cohorts. That should take us up to enough, really. Um, Roman cavalry. Do we have cavalry? We have the equites. I know we got Roman cavalry. That's fine. Another candidate for adoption. Let's go. Adoption not completed. Oh, no. Oh, well. They still don't want to give us Senate offices. Why? Lucius Scipio getting a bit better. Fantastic. Nice. Excellent. Right, construction. Capua. We've got the foundry. Excellent. What do we want to build here then? Something cheap. The Vulcan. Let's go up the Vulcan route. Syracuse. Something cheap as well because we've got no money. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, well. We'll overcome this adversity so easily. Get that in uh, Alexandria. Alexandria, they're happy again. I think it was them, them putting a spy in. What's the likelihood of this plague ending? Uh, we're getting plus 5% to health, so that should help. We've only got 7,000 troops here as well, which is trash, really. Yeah, you stay out there. We don't want you in there. Look at the Egyptians massing their troops. While we're here, we might as well get an auxilia. Hello, rebels. Why would you do this? <laughs> now we're getting attacked by rebels. Fucking brilliant. Nice, Julia. I like that. Nice, Julie. I fantastic. Thank you for doing something decent for us. How are you guys doing now? Still unhappy. 58%. What spy would be in here? See, unrest minus 15%. That's from a spy. But at least law and happiness plus 10%. That'll take a 68.5. So we close. They might riot. They might not. I don't know. 
How are we doing? Ah, uh, we can't even recruit troops here anymore. Get one Praetorian down here. Ah! Oh, don't go in! You get the plague, my friend. You will get the plague. Oh, well. So we've got that now. So hopefully the plague ends soon. We might need to get the uh, public baths as well, but... I think we chance it. The plague will end at some point. It's killing a lot of citizens, actually. Masana, let's go. Yeah, we're starting to make a bit more money again. Uh, we can't afford that. Go for the dockyard. Carolus, something cheap. Probably the arena, that's cheap. But something that makes money and cheap would be better. Not much else. Probably the walls because there's a bit of law. Tingy. Something that makes money again. Probably that because it, it gives a bit of law. Dimity. Uh, probably law again. So let's go for that. Memphis is done. Themyscira. Something cheap. Trader. Corinth. Uh, let's go for that. And then we've got Kydonia. Ah, Caedonia can build something. So let's go for Saturn. Forgot that we uh, dropped off the troops in Rhodes. We'll do that battle in a second. You guys get on that bridge. How annoying. How annoying. How very annoying. I wonder whether you've got any health benefits. No, just a sophisticated wife. Oh, God. Well... How many turns left? Four turns. It's very likely they will attack us in that time, but that's fine. I'm not too bothered by that. Plague. Uh, if, if it wasn't plague, we would have been able to move out two turns ago, basically. He's coming. I don't care. He, he wants to come and get the plague. That's uh, fine by me. We lost those troops up there, didn't we? Right, let's see. We'll have close to enough. If we take the Hastati with us, uh, these guys can do with a upgrade anyway. So let's get... You guys have all got your upgrade, right? Unless... Uh, yeah, they've all got their upgrade. Although the Foundry's one more turn away, so we will upgrade everyone after that. Destroyed those guys. Nice. Oh, well, interesting times, eh? Interesting times. Right, let's take this uh, battle in Rhodes. Yep, yeah, and what do they have in Sparta? Oh, it's just all trash. Should smash them very easily. This is um, Gaius II, right? Gaius II, the one general that's doing well for us right now. <laughs> oh, God, it's been an interesting, interesting episode. Annoying, but of course, it's better having a little bit of adversity than none at all. And just steamrolling everyone. We steamrolled Carthage very quickly and Namidia. So, you know, having a bit of trouble now is not a problem. Just annoying things like the plague. That is just so annoying. We don't need that. We don't need that plague, bro. A night battle. Oh. We will never know defeat while we stand together. This day we add another triumph to the history of our people. We will be honored as men. Over there stands the Greek army. They make a fine show and are worthy enemies. They have been whipped to the battlefield like cattle for slaughter. The balance of numbers favors us, I see. This is good. I do not believe in giving the enemy an easy time. They may take the high ground, but why should this help a bunch of slack-jawed idiots like them? I have never yet lost a fight against these men. I have no intention of starting today. 
So together, we will gain another victory. I have won many great victories for Rome. Be strong in that truth, and let this be one more. March on, and know that our victory is assured as long as we live and die like true Romans. Hey, fantastic. Archers. You boys, start Triarii, they don't really have any cavalry. So, cavalry spam! Oh, look at this! It's like a little cliff. Ballista! That's just peasants. The rest is militia hoplite, so we do need to engage them with the... Um... Ah, their uh, reinforcements are coming this way. This is the one we need to destroy. They do have a general's armoured bodyguard, of course. Gonna be wary of that. Um, so what we'll do, we'll send you three forward to deal with the militia hoplites. Turn you three around. Thing is, they can't retreat from this. And we do need, they're not rebels, so we do need to destroy them all. Get out, get out, get out. Um, archers. Let's get you in front of the troops. Where are you on fire arrows? I don't like that. You guys deal with them. You guys deal with them. We need one of these guys to go and chase those guys down. So you guys come this way if you can. Let's go. We've killed basically all of them. 11 left. Let's go. Be wary of that general's armed bodyguard. You guys get into the militia hoplites. They're shaking already. Yeah, that's them gone. You guys come here. Kill those peasants. Fantastic. They might retreat now or withdraw, but I don't think they can because it's a, they've already withdrawn once. So that means their retreating army can't even withdraw as well. What are you guys doing? We need one of you guys to come over here. See, they just die in like charges. It's just annoying. Get forward. Guys up here as well. That should be that army very much destroyed. Charge them. Let's go. Shaken our Hastatia is shaken. Nice in the charge. You guys come back across. You guys should all be firing at that general. Put you on guard mode, though. Right. Let's go, boys. Triari, I need to get into them. Get through. Gonna charge us, aren't they? Just worried about those pikemen. Get into them. Get the Triarii in there. That's what really matters. Those militia hoplites are broken anyway. So, yeah, we'll destroy him. Come on, kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. That's, that should be them all dead, really, now. Let's go. It's only those Peltas we need to worry about. Continue. He's dead now. Nice. You three over here. You guys into that one. That should be it. Let's go. Fantastic. At least one side of the world is going well for us in terms of battles. Everything's just gone wrong. Like, rebel fleets killing our fleet, even though it's a Quarvus Quinkarim. Uh, getting plague in the city where we're training all the troops. <laughs> what a nightmare. But oh well. There's nothing we can do about it. 
Um, losing that battle was a big turning point. We should not have lost that battle. But then again, the morale shocks on these boys are horrendous. Exterminate. We got increased naval trade by 40%, instantly increasing our the amount of money we're making by a lot. Fantastic. Get a peasant. And what do they have here? Aphrodite. Get rid of that. Let's go for our own law, please. Fantastic. Got all these uh, navies they've got out here as well. Average victory, nice. Clear victory. They sunk two of our ships, though. That's annoying. Can we retrain any of these boys? Yes, we can. And uh, get a trireme as well, maybe. Another wonder. Nice. Then we can take the mausoleum at Halicarnassus, which makes buildings take fewer turns to train, which is fantastic. Ah, oh, well. All right, then. Well, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. An adversity-stricken episode once again. But that's no worries. We'll get there. We'll smash everyone in the end. Um, and we still made progress. We've still taken Rhodes and Kydonia. Um, moving on to bigger and better things as usual. We just need to deal with Egypt and their chariots. Uh, and our new troops... We'll have no problem dealing with the chariots. They've got morale of 10, which is really good. So they shouldn't rout when fighting the chariots at all. They get big defense as well, uh, which is great. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And hopefully I'll see you again in the next episode.